This is going to be a tutorial on how you can bring new life to older tennis balls. Now the tennis balls I have in the can here are about a month old and they no longer have a usable bounce. Now I did some research on tennis ball repressurizers and every video I found didn't accurately show you all the components you needed nor the results at the end of the repressurizing. So my goal is to show you all the things you're going to need and how to do it and later on show you the results. Now the first thing you need to buy is a pin lock uh, gas 1 4th MFL adapter. Now this will go to your soda keg and it will also allow you to attach this um, 1 4th compression fitting that I found on Amazon that will actually let you connect your air compressor to the MFL connector. Now what you're going to need to do is actually take the MFL adapter, put it on a uh, vise, take that 1 4th compression fitting and gently hammer it in. It will actually um, snap in and then lock perfectly. What you're going to want to do though to ensure that there's no air gaps uh, and add rigidity to it is you're actually going to take some super glue and you're going to fill in that gap just to ensure there's no air leaks and that it is perfectly set together. Now I don't think this step is totally necessary but I wanted to do it to be safe. Lastly you're going to take electrical tape and tightly wrap all around it. Now you can take your regular tire air compressor and now you can connect it to that Schrader valve um, adapter that I found on Amazon that allows you to connect it to that MFL gas adapter. The last component that you will need are the corny kegs, or actually the soda kegs. Now these are pin lock kegs, these are not gas lock ones, so I just want you to be aware of that. Now I'm going to remove one um, and open it up so you can see what's inside. Now the lever is in the middle, you're going to gently pull back. Now there is some pressure in the tank, so be aware of that when you push it down. You'll twist and you'll remove it. Now I'm going to set the lever aside and then show you what's inside the tank. Now you can see there's some liquid in there and that the left um, line looks like it's for fluid and the right looks like it's for gas. So when you put the MFL connector on, please put it on the right valve. Now you're going to want to take a towel and you're going to want to dry out everything inside so your tennis balls uh, do not get soaked when you place them in the canister. Now I did notice that I could only fit my left arm in since it's such a tight fit. Now you're going to want to take your tennis balls and put them in the canister. Now every once in a while you want to shake the canister so you can fit more tennis balls and make sure that it's tight inside. Now you can put more than 60 but I recommend stopping at 60 so you can put the lid back on and easily seal and unseal the canister. Next you're going to take your lid sideways and then twist and then clamp so that everything is sealed. Now we're ready to put the air in the tank. Next, you're going to want to take that 1 4th MFL adapter that's made for a pin lock soda keg and you're going to want to twist and lock it onto the pin and make sure it's secured. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is take your air compressor or however you put air pressure into the tank and set it to 30 psi. Now this is my first experiment to see how well does 30 psi for two weeks in this um, soda keg repressurize the tennis balls. I will actually do the next tank at 32 and compare the results and share them with you. Now it took about a minute to fill the tank to 30 psi and I actually recommend if you want to feel safe just put your air compressor to the side and leave the room. Now I don't think there's any danger but this is just good advice for anyone that's nervous about doing this process and wants to stay safe. Now I noticed that the PSI ended at 29, so maybe next time I'll set it to 31 just so there's a little bit of uh, wiggle room when you set the PSI. You can remove the MFL connector and you can actually use it on the next tank. So you only really need to make one of these, um, which is a very cost effective way of doing this process. Now what I'm going to do is take the second canister and I'm actually going to repeat all the steps that you saw in the video and go fast forward. And what I'm going to do is set the PSI in this tank to 32 PSI. And at the end of two weeks, I'm going to open up both containers and evaluate uh, the tennis balls and see if this repressurizing solution really works and if it's actually a solution that will be good for you. Now, I haven't found a video that showed the results of the repressurization of the tennis balls, so I'm hoping that this um, video will allow me to do that for everyone and show you if it's even worth doing. Now, I do want to note that the tennis balls were really old. They have been sitting in my garage for a couple of months, and they were used for a month, and they have very little bounce to them. So as soon as it bounces, it pretty much uh, dies and goes to the ground immediately. So this process will be easy to validate, 
and I can't wait to share the results with you. So I hope this was a good video. Again, all the links to everything I purchased are in the video description below.